A new warning from the CDC. The agency says that a rare and deadly illness that's linked to COVID and until now is most often seen in kids, but it's now being reported in adults. And of course, when we have these questions, we want to go get the experts. And so Dr. Jen Cardo is here to explain. Good morning, Dr. Jen. Thanks for getting up with us. Thank you. Good morning. Um, so tell us a little bit about this. We've heard of Kawasaki disease. Uh, this is similar. Yeah, so that's a really great question. So let's let's go backwards a little bit. When you were talking about the children, it's the multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, MISC, that we were seeing, we started seeing earlier in the year, uh, some months ago with COVID. That syndrome is a Kawasaki disease-like syndrome that we were seeing in children. Now what we're seeing in adults, and that was just kids, uh, starting in June or so, the CDC and other organizations started reporting cases of people not children, but adults with um, some similar features. And we're calling this multi-system inflammatory syndrome in adults rather than kids. A couple of things to note is that this syndrome affects a lot of organ systems for adults. Um, the heart, the GI system, uh, neurologic system, that's like the brain spinal cord, the skin, etc. cetera. Um, but these adults do not have severe respiratory illness, which is what we okay. often think about with COVID, but they are diagnosed with COVID have antibodies or, or active disease. I think what happens, Doc, and, and we're obviously all in kind of a, a heightened sense of awareness yes. and concern with a lot of these different issues. The numbers with this particular issue are pretty small right now. So is this an right. awareness thing? Is it time to start being concerned or just kind of have our, you know, our warning lights up? Yeah, yeah, it's a great question. So the case numbers are low. And I do think that you're right. So you're wondering, those maybe at home might be wondering, okay, what's, why are we talking about this? Where are we going with this? What's going on? Well, the CDC released a report in the last few days reporting these cases. They've got a case reports of about 27 different patients um, with these sort of symptoms, uh, with this disease sort of pattern. Um, and what they're saying is, okay, doctors, let's be on alert and look out for this, not just in children, but in adults as well, this multi-system inflammatory syndrome, um, but also for, for the public, right? So if you have COVID, if you think you had COVID, you have COVID-like symptoms, and or if you have other symptoms, it's always a reminder to get medical care and seek medical care, especially if something doesn't seem right. So this is something we're gonna hear more about, I do believe, unfortunately. I do believe we will probably have more cases we just need to see how things evolve, and we also need to learn more about why and how and what we can do about it. And we continue to tell people the kind of theme is be aware but not uh, be afraid. So what are those right. symptoms specifically that we need to at least be aware of? Okay, so right now there's what we call a working definition for this multi-system inflammatory syndrome in adults. In other words, we're still figuring this all out, but this is sort of the definition right now. First of all, the person involved is someone over the age of 21, 21 or older. Um, they must have had a positive test for COVID or antibodies, so they've got to have COVID. Um, and then they have to have severe dysfunction of one or more organ systems that is not the lungs. So um, the heart, the blood vessels, et cetera, things like that. Um, they also must have lab evaluation or sort of lab, um, excuse me, um, uh, laboratory signs of inflammation that certain lab values and the other thing with these folks is that, yes, we typically think of COVID and respiratory problems, but in these patients, thus far, there's been the absence of severe respiratory illness. So I know this sounds very techy, very scientific, but if we're sort of distilling this down and talking about what you need to know at home, what you need to know at home is, well, first of all, wearing our face masks and doing everything we can to prevent COVID. But if you had COVID, think you have COVID, uh, had it in the past, et cetera, and you develop signs and symptoms that are severe, no matter what they are, seek medical care right away. Yeah. We want to make sure that we keep you safe and we get you properly evaluated. It's the best advice. We'll leave it there. And Dr. Jen, what I always appreciate is you actually respond to people on social media. So if they have additional questions or concerns, they can reach yeah. out to Dr. Jen. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. All right. You have a great day. Uh, she does. She responds to so many people on social media. So check her out.